Steve, that's an uncomfortable day for England, a comfortable day for you and your players, I guess. Yes, certainly. I thought you have to give immense credit to France. I thought they played brilliantly and uh, clearly a, a world-class team there. For us, we we're really disappointed with that performance. Um, lots of things that, that, that we intended to and didn't, weren't able to do and didn't, didn't execute. Uh, and ultimately, we got punished by a, by a great France team. It seems as though they were better than England in pretty much every department. Let's look at the breakdown in the area where England traditionally have been strong. You were decidedly second best there. Is that a, a particular cause for concern? Well, I think we lost collisions across the, across on both sides of the ball, in attack and defence. We lost collisions. Um, we knew they had immense power in their team and size, and, and we, we tried to go about dealing with it. And, and unfortunately, we, we didn't. They won the collisions and were able to offload and, and got away to score. And, and when we attacked, they, they were able to, to dominate us in, in, in terms of their tackle, our carry, and then expose the breakdown. So there's plenty of work on the collision area we need to improve. What's fixable now? What's going to take longer? Well, I think the, 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 as we talk about, the continuing to try and put some strong foundations in place. And we got exposed to it. I said before the game that there would be, um, we'd get a measure of where we're at in terms of our development. And I think what you can see is just how far away we are in terms of the, there, there is a gap. There is a big gap between us and, and the top teams in the world. What we'll do is we're going to address it and try and close that gap as quick as we can. Is the gap bigger than you thought it might be? Well, I don't think it really matters in terms of what compared with what I thought it was going to be. I think what matters is we understand where we're at and we understand how much work we've got to do. Ireland next, a formidable challenge. You can spoil the party for them. Is it now the most important thing to address tactics or to address wounded egos, hearts, spirits? Yeah, well, I think the first thing is we're, we're, we wanted to put on a, a really great performance for our supporters today and we, and we weren't able to do that. We're going to work, we'll go away and make sure we, we review this thoroughly and, and work hard this week to be a better side next week. We know it's an, an incredible challenge now playing against the number one team in the world next weekend. So again, we're going to find out again where whereabouts we are as a team. We know we've got a lot to do. We're going to get on with trying to do it. The selection changes that caught the eye for today, are they ones that you persist with for next weekend? Well, I think what the first thing we'll do is we're going to... Um, Review the players now. Understand where all the players are physically. That was a bruising encounter. That that French team were physical, powerful, and certainly we've come off the field there with a few knocks and bangs. So I've got to assess those first. Steve, appreciate your time. Thank you.